What's up, freaks? It's Steve Ecker, PPC Personal Training Bootcamp Boxing in Nanya Weight and Suffering. This is Steve Says, episode number 69. Let's get rolling. You know what it's all about. You, you see up there in the headlines, AEDM. Do you know about this new, rare, deadly disease going around called AEDM? I'm going to teach you all about it. You never thought you would get some medical lessons or psychology lessons here on Steve Says, but that's exactly what's happened. Pull you up on the second screen. If you have any questions, comments, put them down there below. Just going to make sure we're up and rolling. We are good. Sound check is good. We are up. So, AEDM. Do you have it? Do you have this rare, deadly disease that's going around? Steve says, episode number 69. Some people will hate, but most can relate. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. Facebook Live. Do you have AEDM? How do you get it? How did you get it? Did you get it from your parents? How do you discover the symptoms? And of course... The most important thing, how you overcome it and cure yourself from this vicious, deadly disease, A-E-D-M. Steve says, live is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy obstacles, preventing success in your health, your family, and your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. It's all about trusting the process. This is our, my own unique perspective on personal development, having a positive mindset, of course, health and fitness, about adapting and overcoming, trusting the process, and of course, no excuses. So, today we are talking about, on Steve Says, it's episode 69. So, I'm, I'm, later on, in, I just want to tell you, later on, attached to this AEDM disease, I'm going to tell you, some some things I've never talked about with anyone, definitely not in public, definitely not live on camera. I'm going to talk about some things from my life that I'm going to talk about later on that have to do with this AEDM we're talking about. So what does it stand for? Has anyone ever even heard of it? AEDM. You ever heard of it? See if you can, see if you know what it is. Anyone that's watching, maybe you've heard of it. AEDM. So I'll tell you. So I looked up to see acronyms, right? So I looked up on Google to check out different acronyms if there were any acronyms with that already had this same acronym for what we're talking about today and there were a couple of strange ones out there but not not what we're talking about one of them was as you as you try to figure it out yourself maybe one of them was abrasive abrasive electrical discharge machining i don't know what the fuck that is it's aedm a different version of aedm obviously but abrasive electrical discharge machining i don't know about you but to me that sounds like some kind of sadistic porno movie or some shit like that or a medieval mutilation torture device technique or some shit. But that's not that far off of what the a real AEDM is. Austrian electronic dance music. I saw that as one of the I saw that as one of the acronyms online also, Austrian electronic dance music. And our the porno movie uh, abrasive electrical discharge machining, whatever the fuck that is, I don't know. But that's not either of them is what it is. So there is, there's a few other ones, but AEDM, what does it stand for? So you are now witnessing groundbreaking medical and psychological breakthroughs in science. Here on Steve Says, episode 69. So first time I'm going to a movie, then episode number 60, whatever. We're going to keep this on track. We're going to stay focused on track. Family show. So AEDM, we're, guilt, we're all guilty of it at times. AEDM is your automatic excuse defense mechanism and every one of us has it and has been guilty of it at times and it is a disease taking over the county taking over the nation taking over the world your automatic excuse defense mechanism you heard it first here on steve says it's actually a unique it, it's not even a creation because this exists this is like true to it of course it needs some more studying and more science and lab work or whatever but we're all guilty of time. So what is AEDM? What is the automatic excuse defense mechanism? It's, so say you start talking to someone, right? And you just start speaking. You say a few words and they might feel that the rest of your words that you're about to say might be something that hurts their ego or their pride or might, maybe they're 
their personality will be questioned or their character will be questioned. They just think that. Whether it's true or not, it doesn't matter. And they will have an auto, they will automatically have a response to you without thinking. And usually not even hearing your entire statement. Usually cutting you off. And you might not even be saying anything about them. You might not be saying anything bad. Maybe you are saying about them. Maybe it's a question. But they're going to cut you off. And it might not even be about them. They don't even wait to hear what the details are. Or any more information. And AEDM kicks in. It's automatic. It's part of human nature. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, there is. We're going to get to that. But if you're not conscious about it and you're not aware of it and you didn't know it exists, now you do know it exists. It's, you start speak and it's hard to explain. I'm going to give you some examples in a second and I'm going to go into some deep personal examples later on. As I told you, some personal things and that's a serious note that I've never talked about ever in my life. I'm going to talk about later on in the show. So he's going to, we'll get to that in a minute. And that's on a serious level. That's not like on a trick question level. That's like some deep serious shit we're going to talk about in a little bit. But it's when people feel the need to defend themselves even before there's anything that needs defending. It might not even have anything to do with them. It might have something to do with them. They may be guilty or not, but that's regardless of the fact. It's when they, they need to defend before it even happens, before there's even a chance they could possibly be, I don't know, a suspect or questioned in, in this situation. It's a fucking automatic deflection of blame. Automatic. And, and if you start looking for this, as I explain this, you're going to start seeing it in your day. You're going to be like, holy shit, there it is. It happens all the time. The sad part is, it happens a lot with kids. But even fucking sadder than that, it happens with adults even more. Because it's just ingrained into them as kids and they don't lose it as adults. We're going to get into all this. So it's an automatic deflection of blame. And, and again, it's hard to explain but it's easy to understand and you'll, it's easy to see it when it happens. So start looking for it. You're going to see it. It's a subconscious automatic excuse defense mechanism. Because listen, we're not fucking humans. You might think you're a human. We're not fucking humans. There's no system. We're not humans. We're fucking machines. Every, all the systems in our body, it's just automatic. There's nothing you could do about most of it. And think about it. You're breathing. Your eyes blinking. Your heartbeat. Your blood flow. Your body, and that's, you know, the real automatic systems of the body, but then human nature and body language and facial expressions you make. Even when you go and eat something, your muscle, your muscle's not even fucking human muscle. You're a machine. You are what you eat. You take on the traits of what you eat. There's so many systems and mechanisms and in the body, it's a machine. It's not, you're not even human. You're a fucking, you are a fucking machine. You heard that here first, another breakthrough in science. So AEDM is just another system of that machine, the automatic excuse defense mechanism is fucking sickening to a point. We all have it, but some of us have it to an extreme and it's fucking sickening at the levels that some adults have this. And this doesn't even have to only be serious situations. We're talking about in harmless, everyday conversational situations. And that's how you know it's an automatic and it's subconscious because sometimes you'd be like, what the fuck? Like, there's no point to even defend something, but automatically there's a defense to it. And, and a deflection, an automatic deflection. Like, let's, let me think of a, a couple scenarios. Let's say I'm looking for the remote control for the TV, right? And I'm looking for the remote control for the TV. And I say, I ask you. And I say, let's see if we have a the thing down there. If you have a boss with this disorder. <laughs> I bet. Give some examples if you can. So, and automatically he'll deflect it, right? And, and that's true. I get. I, I hear what you're saying. So you, it's hard to explain, but he, but Nick understands it. He has a boss with this disorder. Like the second something goes wrong in the business, before he even hears about it, if it has anything to do with him or his department, he's going to automatically have that automatic excuse defense mechanism to make sure to ensure that he's not going to be the one to have to actually take ownership of it. So let's say I'm looking for the TV remote, even though I watch fucking TV, but let's just say I'm looking for the TV remote, right? And I ask you, I say, hey, did you see the TV, the TV remote anywhere? And automatically, before I even get that sentence out, I can say, hey, did you see the TV remote? And you cut me off and say, I haven't touched the TV, that remote in three days. Be like, listen, motherfucker, I didn't ask if you touched it. I didn't ask how many days it's been since you touched it. All I ask is if you have seen it. So now... What does this tell me? This, this doesn't tell me if you've seen it. It doesn't tell me if you're the one that moved it. I'm sure, does it make you look suspicious? Yeah, but all that AEDM does is makes you look fucking suspicious, first of all. And you know what? There's probably a 50-50 chance that you either are guilty or are innocent of 
the remote control missing. And that's regardless. You're still going to automatically deflect it and automatically defend yourself with that inside of you. Think about that. And you, and now when I give you this basic, and that's like a bare bones example, no serious consequences to it, not any big life changing like situation. And it still comes out automatic because you can't, the human nature won't take that on. You need, you have to deflect that. It's fucking sickening in adults, especially, and you'll see it time and time again. Look for it. So think that. I'm gonna give you that situation again. I say to you, "Hey, did you did you see the TV remote?" I did, and you and you cut me off. I haven't touched that in three days. The funny thing about it, the this disorder, if you want to call it, this disease, this automatic mechanism, is when it happens, it usually comes with numbers and statistics and numerical values of something, like specific details, because somehow that's going to validate that it wasn't you, that you could take the blame off you because you know that you haven't touched it in three days. And automatically, somehow you fucking know you didn't touch that remote in three days. It's sick. It's a sickness. So one time, here's another, another just popped in my head, another scenario I just thought of. And this happened years ago. And so I was, I was trying to think of examples. It's so hard to come up with examples, but it happens all the time because it's automatic and you almost don't even realize it when it's happening unless you're aware of it. One time I was talking about a car accident. This was in the when I was when I was in the Marines actually a long time ago. I was talking about a car accident. There's three people, three of us talking, and the conversation's going something about car accidents or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? That fucking sucks. Someone got got had got in a car accident or whatever. I said someone fucking banged into my car and left a huge dent. And one of the people there cut me off and said, "Listen, I got here before you at 8:35, and you were not here until 8:42. So that wasn't me." I didn't even finish the sentence. I was going to talk about how someone banged up my car and left a huge dent like six years ago and then left a note on my car and said something like, sorry, I smashed your car. I'm just writing notes to make it look like that I'm leaving my information. I was just telling this story about accident because we were having a conversation with someone about an accident they got into. And so it just made me think of this story. I started telling this story and it brought back that emotion from the story, right? Like that pissed offness from the story. So I'm like, yeah, fucking someone banged into my car and left a huge dent and this motherfucker cuts me off to say I got here before you at 8.35 and, and you weren't here until 8.42 now all of a sudden the motherfucker is a mathematician knows like details and statistics but then when it comes down to performing their job they're fucking useless but when that AEDM kicks in that automatic excuse defense mechanism comes in they're fucking they're, they're, they're fucking Einstein they have all kinds of statistics in their head to, to validate and to prove that they did no wrong so see in this situation the first situation with the remote whether or not the person touched it or not, we don't even know because they just said they haven't touched it in three days. It could be bullshit. It could be because the artifact, the defense mechanisms could be truthful or it could even be a lie. You don't even know. There's no difference. And the person telling it doesn't even know the fucking difference because they are just concerned with deflecting it off of themselves, distracting you in a different direction. So me talking about this car, I was talking about years ago when I was a teenager working at a fucking grocery store, pushing shopping carts. And while I'm in the Marines, I'm telling the story, I get caught off. Someone already taking the blame off of themselves from it. I'm like, motherfucker, are you sick in the head? Like, and, and I'm thinking, I was thinking today of different situations. And that's one that, that popped in mind. I'm like, holy shit, this isn't going on forever. And a lot of times they know additional dates and numbers, statistics, details, as if that will validate them. And again, automatic excuse defense mechanism doesn't mean they're fucking lying. They might not be lying. They might be telling the truth, but it doesn't matter. It's regardless. Like truth or false, innocent or guilty, doesn't matter. Probably a lot of times they are guilty, but it really doesn't matter. It could be 50-50. It doesn't matter. It will come out automatic. Whether or not, even if they're innocent, it comes out. They have to defend themselves. If they're guilty, it comes out automatically. They have to defend themselves. And you can't even determine the difference between the two because it comes automatic. It's just your human nature. So, And in their brain, they know they just need to deflect it off themselves. So it comes out as if it's true because they got the statistics to back it up, right? The crazy thing, it doesn't matter if someone's innocent or guilty once this fucking excuses activate. They activate those excuses, it's fucking automatic. And sometimes response will have nothing to do with the fucking situation. Like, you could be talking about something and asking a question and the response is something from left field that has nothing to fucking do with what you're talking about. And you're like, what the fuck? And that's just, and you know, they, and they will fight to the death over it, even though their response has nothing to do with it. And that's all part of this same excuse to defense that it's just an art of deflection, an art of distraction, distracting you from the, the point to take it away from them, take the attention off themselves 
and put it any fucking direction, even if they bury someone that's fucking innocent because of this. And the root cause, the root cause is people are approval fucking seeking and blame deflecting and they want to distract and take attention off themselves. Why? Usually, usually, it could be many other great reasons, probably because of their parents and their childhood and how they're brought up. We know almost everything in human nature. It's crazy. It goes back to your experiences and the further back, the stronger they are as a child or whatever. So what do we do? We blame our parents. So I am here to tell you today, cut that shit. It's time to stop blaming your fucking parents. If you're an adult, you're a fucking grown up. It's time to stop blaming your parents for all the shit they did to you, no matter how fucked up they were. And now you're, you're 30, 35, 40, fucking 50 years old and still acting like a fucking douchebag because your parents were fucking mean to you when you were seven years old. Come on. It's fucking 30, 40 years later. Get over that shit. Get over that shit. The automatic built-in excuse to defend your actions that you were treated like shit when you were a kid or that's what you were taught when you were a kid or that's what you brought up is fucking bullshit and that's all part of this AEDM. All part of the automatic excuses. Oh, that's just the way I was brought up. Oh, that's my father's fault. Motherfucker, that was 30 years ago. You had enough time to get over that shit. Fucking get over it. Start blaming that way they fucked, that you had a fucked up childhood. Start blaming that for the reason why you're gonna, it's gonna propel you to success instead of fucking drag you back into hell. Like, start thinking of it that way. That's a shift you need to make in your head. You're a fucking grown up. Get over it. Enough with the excuses. And that's the first step is to recognize that this, this AEDM exists. And the next step is just to fucking get over it. Get over it. Because I'm telling you, it comes back to your roots. It comes back to when you're a freaking kid. Get over it. Otherwise, you're just going to roll with that shitty, pathetic, automatic excuse defense mechanism victim mindset and genetics to future generations. And you're going to roll that shit down hit your kids and they're going to grow up to be just as a, a, a shitty minded thinking adult as yourself making excuses now for their parents, the way their parents treated them when they were a kid. Cut the freaking cycle. Now here I'm going to tell you a couple things. All right, my childhood, my father, I learned every single thing I know now, I learned from my father. The way I do everything in the world, every strategy, tactic, discipline, everything I have, enthusiasm, I learned everything from my father. Because when I was a kid, I looked at my father and said, I want to be nothing like that motherfucker. So I'm going to, and, and you know what? This a automatic excuse defense mechanism, I use that for having a shitty childhood. I'd, I'd probably say... In the Marines, maybe it got cut a little bit, but not really solid until I had a kid at like 30 in the 30s. So think about that. All those decades of just bullshit. You're an adult. Stop fucking blaming your childhood. Get over that shit. Because my father would show up drunk to our the, the Little League games. I was only in Little League. You had to pay for it to be on the team. Of course, my, my parents didn't pay for me to be in Little League. Only reason I played for three seasons, and, and most of those seasons I was the best on the team. Pretty much was the best on the team all three seasons. The coach called me up and asked if I want to be on the team. And the coach paid for my little league season for me to be on the team to get the uniform and all that shit you needed to have. Because my parents weren't paying for that shit. There's too much alcohol and cigarettes to buy. How could you 